In this video, I'm going to explain how to take off the wire needed for these strip lights. Here I have a plan opened. This is a retail store with lots of lighting. And again, I'm going to explain how to take off the wires needed for all these rows of fixtures. Okay, I've already looked at, I've done some setup on this. I've already, I've already looked at the plans. I know that the rows with emergency light fixtures need um, five number 12s. And the ones without these rows need three number 12s. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take these off. Now, I've already done some setup here. I just want to make some observations. I have Plan Swift open. The plans are on Plan Swift. And whenever I'm estimating, I like to have Red Rhino open to the same job, okay, the same estimate. So um, let me just show you that. Here I'm logged into Red Rhino, and here's the estimate, okay. I can always go back to it and drill down in these sections if I need to, okay. So let me get back to the Plan Swift plans. So again, I have Plan Swift open. Currently, I'm on the home page here, and I have the I'm on Pages and Bookmarks. So I'm on the home page. Pages and Bookmarks not, does nothing more than shows the plan sheets here. I'm drilled down into the lighting plan. Now, in order to do the takeoff, I'm going to click on Takeoff Summary. It's important that you do this, and it displays the different sections I have in the estimate. Okay, again, Takeoff Summary. Now, let me show you how to get started with this. First, I'm going to drill down in the product catalog and find number 12 wire. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I know that number 12 lives in <laughs> product 7000. And then I'm going to look for wire and drill down to number 12. I see that number 405, the file 405, has wire and SO cord, etc. Click the plus sign. I'm going to click on copper wire here. Copper wire, bare, cop bare copper wire. And then next I'll digitize on this, okay? Now let me show you how this works. I'm basically just going to digitize and I'm going to roll over and over on each row of lights. This row uh, of the emergency row lights need five number 12s. I'm literally just going to roll back and forth after I digitize. Let me show you. I'll click on the green dot here. I'm going to click OK. Oh, let me let me uh, let me reiterate. Here it allows you, and it's necessary to choose the section that you want this to go into. So this did default with a lighting section here, but let me just click the drop down. If I wanted a different section, I would just I would choose the section I want this material to go into. Okay, I'm going to select the lighting section because that's where I want it, and I'll just click OK. Okay, now the digitizer lights up here. I'm just going to basically roll back and forth on this row of lights five times, clicking when I change direction. So I'm going to start up here and over roll a little bit for some of the wire makeup needed. Okay, in other words, it's going to add extra wire length. Okay, so I'm just going to click here. I'll click at the bottom here. And then I'm just going to click back and forth. That's one wire. Here's two wires. Clicking again, three wires. Click again four wires, click again five wires. I'm going to right click and stop doing the digitizing. Okay, now next I'm going to go over to the next row and do the same thing in the, the next emergency light row. Okay, now I want to explain something. Again, this is the purpose of doing it this way is to capture the wire needed in something that's already there. In this case, it's light fixture rows, right, that are connected end to end. Now, you might use this same method for uh, installing um, wire in conduit that's already existing, okay? If you, have, if you have a set of plans and it tells you to pull new wires in existing conduit, you can do this the same way, okay? Just roll over the path um, with each wire. Now, when I do take off the, a second time for this wire, I'll go over on the left-hand side and digitize because it's already in the right section, okay? Now, I, I should reiterate also that as I roll back and forth, see it shows a total distance of wire taken off there was 738 feet. Again, to c complete this or keep going, I just do the same thing. I'll digitize, click back and forth five times, basically. Again, I'm going to overroll to capture additional wire for makeup. I'll just click at the top, click at the bottom, click at the top, click at the bottom, until I've done it five times. 
Okay, then I right click, stop digitizing, and again, it's added additional footage here, okay? I would just do that to each row. You know, this takes a little bit of time, but it's pretty easy, right? You just gotta click back and forth on it. So I would go through and do all the, all the emergency rows, and I'd go back and do the other rows, okay? That's how you capture it. Now, eventually you'll export these materials. This isn't a lesson on that, but I'd go to the estimating tab to do that. Then I'd use the, the uh, I'd use the, uh, connector, the Red Rhino connector, to export this item, okay? So hope that helps. That's how you take off. Let me go back to the original screen here. That's how you, whoops, there we go, back to the original screen of home. <laughs> there we go. And that's how you, again, just add wire, okay? Hope that helps.